Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Old Man Raining from the Kitchen. I'm your host, William Lee, podcaster and the founder of the Kiba Agency. almost forgot there for a minute that I was the founder of the agency. You know, we've done a lot of Facebook shows live, and it's been a real pleasure. We've picked up a lot of great guests and a lot of wonderful people that have been out there that have supported our show, and we find it growing very nicely, to be honest with you. I never expected this kind of growth. I really didn't. I thought for sure we would probably be just another one of those live occasional Facebook shows that just kind of, and that was the end of it, if you know what I mean. But no, we're real happy, uh, uh, very proud of the fact that we have been able to do what we've done. And uh, now we're going to do some really neat new stuff on podcasting and vlogging's coming up next year. Live internet radio's coming up. We are wound up with really a lot of great things that we're going to be doing for you. And uh, But we still need your help. We still need your help. We need to know what the community's really talking about, what they're thinking about, what kind of conversations that they'd like to have on our podcast shows. You know, our podcast shows are on Specker and a wonderful, wonderful platform indeed because it gives us so much uh, things that we can do for the show and being able to go remote and being able to have studio sets ups and actually get out into the community is fantastic. And it allows us to have a gateway to Spotify, iHeartRadio, and 12 other podcast platforms that are very popular for podcasts. People that, well, like to listen to what's going on in the world, in their communities, or maybe they just want to hear some good old-fashioned storytelling. It's all there in podcasting, and it's wonderful news, inspiration, and community activities all wrapped up into different types of shows and programming. Now, there's over two and a half million, I understand, podcast shows going on the air. So you've got your choice of very, very good subjects and a lot of a lot of different changes of ideas and spoken thoughts that'll inspire you, we hope here. Those that enjoy podcasting, I know I'm one of them. I've been doing it now for six years, and I really enjoy it. And I enjoy the opportunity to bring new stuff to you and stuff that's interesting for you in your community. So today, without ado, we're going to switch the show around. Now, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about, and uh, I'm sure everybody understands, if you've heard my show before, that I kind of get off on politics and drugs uh, like marijuana, taxes. I attack the the group at Olympia, which is kind of like walking into a... Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, a hyena's cage, yes. But it's it's kind of fun to be able to sit back and also have an opportunity to meet so many people and, and give them a voice on the air, and that's what we are all about. This podcast is about conversation, and we hope that we can bring more conversations to the air with a lot of great people here in the Puget Sound area. So I want to thank you very much for those who have been supporting us and tell your friends and maybe they'll want to listen to the old man ring from the kitchen while they're out in their automobile or jogging or are having a great time listening to podcasts. So there we go. Hey, one of our sponsors I want to talk about, and I talk about them every week, is B&G Sponsored Events. You know, it's really neat when a community can get together and do something like this, especially for the people of the community. These entrepreneurs bring their crafts, their gifts, their products, and they bring a special, I think, family feeling to each and every market that B&G Sponsored Events has been hosting. It's like one great big family reaching out to the community, giving you the opportunity to see some unique gifts and ideas for the holidays. Now, you say, where is this market and what day is it going to be? November 5th, write it on your calendar from 10 until 5 o'clock at the First Christian Church of Tacoma, located 602 North Orchard Street and 6th Avenue, north at 6th. You can't miss it. It's a beautiful campus. It sits back in the trees. Ample parking for everyone. No admission. And here's what's wonderful. Thoughts for you. These actual vendors are going to be bringing special items. Great for advanced Christmas shopping. Maybe you've got somebody that you love a lot and you want to give them something special, something 
that you really, really say, ah, this is one of a kind. The place to be then, November 5th, at the B&G sponsored event market at the First Christian Church of Tacoma. If you are a vendor and would like to get more information, please write down this uh, email address and Gail or Bill will get a hold of you. And that email address for B&G to see if you can get an application is simply this. It's called bookworm234 at AOL.com. That's bookworm234 at AOL.com. And it'll, they'll get right back with you. Or why don't you visit their website where you can find out even more information. And that's simply at B and G. And that's the letter N. B N G sponsored events.com. Uh, they've been with us since 2017. Bill and, and Gail and myself have been working together. And what a great, great people. Absolutely community orientated. These are the type of people that I wish we had more of in the world, really. It's great to have them with us and wonderful to have them sponsoring our show. So let's move right on and get into some of the hardcore politics and garbage that we really don't want to hear me talk about because I'm always bloviating. Hey, I am to the point where I'm about maxed out with politicians and advertisement. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that every time you turn on the television... It's the same pounding, pounding, pounding of political ads. Do you get to the point where, why did I buy a television? Why do I watch it? Why do I pay big cable prices to see politicians standing there? And I'm going to do this, and I'm going to stop that. And those people that are in office now will shake their boots when I walk in the door to take control. Boy, I've had enough of that stuff to last me forever. You know, it's It's horrible. It's like kids arguing. You got the Republicans. They're going to take away women's health care. You got the Democrats. They're going to give back everybody the wonderful opportunity to smoke dope, marijuana, get rid of that federal law because all the rest of the states are doing it. And the voters want to hear that. Yeah, the potheads of America can vote. Some of them actually can pick up a pencil and figure out how to color in the little box. Very difficult thing. Uh, this country, as far as I'm concerned, has gone to pot. You now, that's the marijuana, not the, you know, type of pot you'd have on a stove. No, I, I, I'm really serious about it. I'm seeing this country, after all the years that I've been on this earth, I'm seeing this country slowly deteriorate and divide. Communication amongst the actual voters that put these leaders supposedly in positions to lead are finding themselves speechless. They're finding themselves not being heard. They're finding themselves watching people stuff money into the pockets and not into our communities. We're watching the police departments being defunded and men who put a target now on their back as first responders, police department people, and et cetera, and patrol officers. Wow, what happened? Why are we going down this 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 great big black hole of destruction. Now, the Democrats say it's because of Trump. And I'm not going to get into that garbage. I'm tired of listening to it. The Republicans say it's because uh, socialism and they don't understand them Democrats about not giving money away that we don't have. Wow, that's interesting. And then you listen to the individual community Congress people and senators, and we do have two senators in the state. We never see them until it's election time. I didn't even know that Patty Murray's hair had gone white, to be honest with you. Last time I saw her, it was blonde color. Uh, it's always interesting to me of all these things that they say they have done, but yet when you look at their voting records, they're either pro or con, Republican or Democrat, or not listening to the people of the state who voted them in office. Where were they when the pandemic was ripping and tearing us apart? Don't know. Probably at home with their mask on. Hiding. Where were they now with inflation starting to take in and a recession around the corner? Where are they? Where are they when our schools are dangerous? Education is faltering. Teachers, good teachers are walking away. They don't make enough money, they said, to survive. And they, in many cases, don't. They have over classroom sizes of students that you can't really communicate and build a relationship with 
when you have a whole crowd with different learning aptitudes. It's tough. It's hard. Now we have violence in the school. We have beatings that are going on by bullies that are bullying kids and actually physically hurting them. We have teachers, maybe 2%, if that many, in the nation's school that are pedophiles. That's what I said, pedophiles, that are having sexual relationships with our students. And don't start that boys will be boys routine either. You look at both sides of the counter, the men teachers that have been convicted and the women teachers have been convicted, the janitors that are going to be and have been convicted, and other people that work in the school districts that have either been convicted or asked to remove themselves from any position due to the fact that they have actual criminal offenses handling our children, ruining our education for kids. So you look at all these things, and then you wait for the television advertisement to come on. The great ad. You know, the ad that tells you, oh, boy, we're going to straighten this out. We're going to have this cleaned up in no time at all. Well, that ad may never get here. Who knows? And the real actual effect of that ad is BS, stacked high. Why can't we talk about what's going to happen, what they can do to help get the economy back on the street again? What can they do to help education? What can they do to keep our environment clean? And I don't mean sell marijuana to increase taxes for potholes in the street. When we look at the figures of 0.0009% of the pot tax that actually goes to, actually goes to education, it makes me sick. That's ridiculous. Where's the rest of it go, folks? In the general fund. The general fund doesn't help us too much when we have kids that are scared to go to school because could be heard in schools across the nation. We don't have a real strong first, uh, I would say, uh, responders response when they can't get the tools, the education, the background. When good police officers that are really adapt and have done tons and tons of things for community, are now being condemned, and they are now the enemy, whereas the crook or the idiot, pot-headed, moron, gun-toting idiot gets the free card. Ah, we're taking and decriminalizing some of the criminal events because our jails are too full, or it's picking on people. Man, I've heard enough, and I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of it. So, Next time you turn on your television, your radio, and there's that great congressman that's going to be reelected, maybe, and they sit there and bloviate and say nothing, think about it for a minute. Those people, you are the boss of. So let's get a conversation going on. Let's stop the politicians with their big mouths saying nothing. Nothing at all. It's been great talking with you today. Look forward to being with you again. Have a great weekend. Keep a positive mind, loving your heart for your neighbor, and you'll always keep us smiling.